thought I'd show you how we keep the trailer cooler when it's parked here at home uh, to keep it from heating up from the inside because we live in Florida and it gets extremely hot here. What I've done is I stretched a sunshade across from these poles that I put up. They're just four by fours. And I attach it to the top of the solar racks. I'll climb up there and show you how I got that attached so you get a better idea. So what I did is I put some uh, eye bolts through the framing of my solar rack allowing me to hook these on here. Right on this side. And what I also got here is four of them. One down at the very end and then two in the middle to stretch the canvas out. It's a very simple, easy hookup. And plus with these here, you can tie things to them if you need to. And I just thought I'd show that to you. Let me go to the other side and I'll show you the rest of it. This is the back side of the trailer. And I'll see if I can get a picture up there. But what I did was is I put four of these across here. There's a good picture how it spreads it out. And it works out pretty good. Makes great shade. I'll try to come out and take a picture whenever the sun's hitting really hard. And they just stretched over here. And I just tied them down with some uh, rope. And what I got is it stretched clear to the other pole. Now when we're gone, and attach these, I just roll this thing up onto this cord right here. And then I take another rope and go down, down through so it ain't drooping. That way it's all sealed up and the sun, wind and stuff ain't going to tear it up. But uh, yeah, you can see how I just attach the pole, same thing. I just thought this might help you guys on a way of parking your trailer, keeping it cooler. If you don't have the house on the opposite side of your trailer like I do, you could use two of these. It wouldn't be hard to set it up. I think I'll show you how I roll it up. The easiest way I found to do this is to detach the center hooks first. They just snap right off. And then I go from end to end. And we'll show you that. Okay, I've unhooked one end of it. Let me go to the back and unhook the other one. Okay, I got both ends loose. But before I roll it up, I want to show you one more thing. Down here, as you can see, the canvas has eye hooks, loops, whatever you want to call them, for your hooks. But in the center, it didn't have them. You can buy them that way, but this one did not come with them. So I placed these little, what they call tarp clamps on there, and put me another hook on it. They come in a little box like this right here. These are great things. You can use them for all kinds of stuff. But they just got a little jaw clamp. You know, screw it, slide whatever you want to put in there in. Screw it tight, and they really hold tight too. I wanted to share that with you before I rolled this up. Here's a picture of the box. If I can get the light right. There you go. So now I'll roll this up and show you how I do it. Okay, what I did here was fold it up over the line. The cord that runs from one pole to the other to shorten it so it's not hanging on the ground. I could leave it like that till we get back, but we have so much rain and wind here in Florida, it would just blow on the ground. I don't want it to get dirty or tear it up or something. So I'm going to show you how I support, how I support it onto that line so it doesn't end up getting all blown around. So I just kind of tie it up like this on the cord. I just got me another cord up there, went around it, looped it brought it down, looped it, and so forth, all the way down to tie it to the other end. But it makes it really nice and sturdy, so if the wind blows, it doesn't have a lot to catch. It's just hanging there. And I guess I'll loop it, hook it right back up to my trailer, and get my shade back. Now, you can see the sun is already setting in on the side of these trees here. So it won't be long until it'll be down here, and then it'll be pounding against the trailer. This makes a great way to shade your trailer, bring the temperature down. And it's great to uh, set it under, you know, as far as the shade goes. But it's very simple, easy way of doing it. Like I said, if you had one on each side of the trailer, maybe, if you didn't have the house blocking your sun, it would really make a big difference. I thought I'd show you how much sun is already starting to gather up out here before it even gets on the west side of the trailer. And then I'm going to put this shade up and show you the difference. Now that I got it back up, you can see how much shade it creates. I just thought this was something I wanted to share with you guys. 
especially for keeping your uh, trailer cooler. It takes less to cool it too if you run the air conditioner. But there you go. Thanks for watching.